hi everybody it's Thursday February 18th um, and I'm just picking up what is on the top of my table right now which is the little deer deer I just put her silk skirt on and I'm fitting her corset. See if I've got it centered. Looks pretty good. I'm getting ready to choose some lace. Where did I just put that? Now this is some lace that I cut off of a handkerchief. <clears throat> And it's just crocheted thread. It's really pretty. Now this deer is a oops is an order that I got months ago on Etsy and I've been working on her slowly. Um, and you know what? I am so lucky to have collectors who trust me. Um, that they will eventually get their doll um, because I don't I don't mess up in the um, getting an order filled department <laughs> uh, and I think a lot of that well I know a lot of that trust um, really comes from you guys, my patrons, um, because you share my work and you just you stick you stick with me. You're, you're by my side, and I so appreciate you doing that. <clears throat> okay, let's get down into this work. I know my lighting's not good. Um, we're still in the um, conserve energy thing. Now this is manufactured and though it's beautiful look at it next to that handmade. I love the handmade stuff and I might use that on something else. I'm going to use the um, antique lace right now. There's my thread. Okay, okay. we'll just get another roll. Oh, there it is. It's on the pin cushion. <sighs> um, we've, we've done really well here during this week of snow and ice. Um, and though it's melting today, it got up to 35 degrees, y'all. It feels like summertime. <laughs> um, anyway. It's melting, but it's refreezing once it hits the ground, and we've got big icicles hanging off the house. I haven't gotten out today to knock them down, but they were huge the other day, and I was afraid that they might break my roof edges, so I knocked the big ones down. It was fun, actually. I loved it, getting outside, getting some fresh air, even though it was freezing. I hadn't had snow like that since I was really young. We used to live in northwest Arkansas. I grew up there actually. And we got a big snow every one, one or two years, you know. We, we hated it, but it was fun. It's fun when you're a kid. Let me see. I want to attach that to the corset so that it stays. You know, once the collector has it and the skirt gets messed up, they're going to go, oh, I don't like that. So I like to just tack things in place when I can. And you just hide the knot underneath. I've got a thimble around here somewhere too. I'm listening to calming meditative mu music and I just find it on YouTube and let 
let it play. Okay. I just put moisturizer on my hands so it's really slippery. Not that I wanted it to be slippery. Now I, you could um, use your Fabri-Tac and glue your lace on, but I want to be able to stitch over. I want to add. I want to add some. What is this um, seam binding or hem tape, whatever that's called? It's really thin and beautiful um, ribbon, and you can gather it so nicely. See how pretty that is? And I'm going to put that, I'm going to ruche it and put it over the seam between the lace and the corset. It's the perfect color. I get this in like 100 yard spools from one of my favorite suppliers. And anybody can order from them and get wholesale prices. Um, and they have a low shipping price too, so that's really wonderful. <clears throat> I'll try to remember to put the link. If I forget to put links down when I say I'm going to link that, let me know, okay, so that I can get you guys that info. Because sometimes I get the video done and then I just move on and I forget. <laughs> I'm just going to tack this down. That's why you want to go around and make sure your skirt is where you want it. But you can um, you can tack everything to the edge of your corset if you want that skirt part to be free later. Got a knot in there somewhere. <clears throat> Just go around and around, sort of like a ladder stitch. You can whip stitch it on. That's going to be pretty. Um, to keep her hands up, I just kind of put a little safe, a safety pin, straight pin in her hand to her head so that she can relax. Even my coffee. A water spill's fine. A coffee spill, not so much. Um, just go back and forth from the corset to the, and I'm taking big stitches because we're going to come back over this again with more stitches to hold the next layer of ribbon down. Anyway, just little tidbits, and you can, um, for my new girls, you can get the Dear Dear pattern in my Etsy shop. And right now I'm running a sale, a Winter Woes sale. Um, but if you want to wait two weeks, I'm going to do my birthday sale. And it'll be, it'll be a big 50% off on all my digital patterns. So and I'm not pulling that really tight so that I've got room to maneuver the lace later. Let's see. just enough to keep it from being too loose but still attached and most of this fabric is vintage comes from costumes or wedding gowns wedding hankies I want to be careful with her legs. Now see these beads that I used for her knees? Whoops. Um, they're wicker balls. And I got um, packages of those at the Dollar Tree. Um, I sprayed them with the um, gloss, clear acrylic gloss and painted them with dragonfly glaze 
which is just a folk art brand um, acrylic paint called Dragonfly Glaze and it comes in a lot of different colors but I really like the green so I got that and it's I just painted it on with a paintbrush and I, you're, I was able to um, open the wicker enough to slip a bead inside the knee so that added color um, and helped stabilize the wicker to make me feel safe enough to use it as a bead on this doll so that was that was really fun and she's a deer and she's in the woods and she has wicker kneecaps so they're <laughs> there This is just going to go straight across the gap. This gap will be covered with a pretty bow later. I think I'm going to make a bow with the fabric, <coughs> same fabric as I used in the corset. That's really pretty. Now that was a remnant that I got <coughs> at a fabric store years ago. And it's I believe it's silk and wool with a print on top. It's a really pretty Rococo type print. It goes with the scrolly scroll theme of the horns or the antlers. Not horns, antlers. Anyway, I've been too tired to sew. It's like once I got done making sure the house was secure, that the pipes weren't freezing, um, and every day I go out to make sure all of the grates in the foundation around the house are still covered. Um, this old house, I swear. Um, I like old houses, but I'd like to have a newer old house. <laughs> Someday. Anyway. Ouch! I poked my thumb. I know her knees are backwards, but hey. just trying to remember everything that I have to do around the house to make sure we have water the next day or throughout the night make sure we have a vehicle that we could drive if we had to get out um, just wore me out a little more than I expected it to so I've been hunkering down in the blanket nest on my bed with my kitty cat as much as possible. <clears throat> and we were lucky here. We only lost power on Tuesday morning for about four hours, four and a half hours. And we've had power ever since, so that's really, I'm so thankful for that. And our neighbors are doing well, and we're just living it as simple as possible. so thankful to be working from home. I've been listening to a lot of stories, sort of like audiobooks on the internet, on YouTube mainly. Okay, 
I'm going to have to cut this. Got lots left for the top. It's a weird little. I'm going to cut it right there. Now, that's where you can use your fabric tack on the threads at the end to keep them secure, keep them from unraveling. Because you know how crochet can do. And that's just, I wanted to catch up with you guys. And make sure you're doing well and let you know that I'm still here and once I get caught up with our benefit dolls and my order here I'm gonna have new fun things for you to make and see and we'll be working on getting my proposal done for the Art Connection Summit for this year, this fall. I'm still deciding between two different dolls and with something new to learn, something fun to do. And of course you guys will get some freebies for it, so. You get to be my testers, actually, <laughs> for some of the stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm hoping that you're safe and that you're warm and you're content and you have lots of goodies to eat. <laughs> um, and lots of fabric to sew can never have too much fabric. Remember that. Um, I love you. I'll see you later. Bye.